Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Today we're talking about Dr. He Does, and I know we've been talking about them a lot this week, um, but it's going down. Like, she keeps getting worse. I cannot believe that she can continue to get worse. It's like someone reaches the edge of the worst part of them, and she just keeps going. She keeps doing these things that she knows we're all looking at, that she does it on purpose. It's actually quite scary, and it's disgusting that she does these to her kids and these kids that lived with her, and she's just... Ugh. So we're covering James's birthday today, and then something she said while shopping, and then something while she's rapping. Like, let's take a look at it. First thing we're gonna do is take a look at this video where she's shopping at Wegmans, but she says something crazy, and this got sent to me a hundred times, okay, like by a lot of people. Um, as we all know, the end has left this house, and left the house because she was unhappy at this house. She was being exploited, she knew she was, she didn't want to be part of it. No amount of buying her sneakers or things could help her, and was struggling with being a teenager, and she was being ignored in a place where she needed extra special attention and help, love, care, all those types of things that all these kids need that none of them get. Alicia honestly thinks that she just buys them crap that that's going to take care of all their trauma. And that's the scariest thing about this is because she gets like accolades and a reward, like awards, like internet awards. And she gets like celebrated for being this amazing man. But all she does is feed her kids garbage and buy them garbage. That's all she does. There is no one-on-one -on -one support. And when she's like, oh, we went to get our nails done. That's not what we're talking about. Alicia and Josh are absent parents. They let video games, television, and other things take the place of the of the actual support and love and care that they need because they don't have time for it. And that's so evident. Josh wasn't there for most of their birthdays. He's not there for James's birthday, apparently. Okay, he's never around. Alicia's always doing something on the internet. She's always vlogging it, uploading it, spending time monitoring comments, copyright striking me, trying to take me down, trying to sue me, spending all this frivolous energy when she should be helping and supporting her children. I remember back in the day, she said something in one of her videos. She's like, even those kids are with us. They're still family, even though they're not with us. And that's when she was fostering and everything else. And, you know, and that happened, you know, when N came to the house, N didn't want to be there and she left. But did Alicia say that for her? Did she take her off the scrabble board on the wall? And does she say stuff like this? She's shopping a wig. Listen to this. And it is going to piss you off. So she said, I still have Deshaun's bread left. Don't let, don't, don't miss that. Alicia is being very, very pointed in what she's about to say here. So she says Deshaun, then she, just, then she starts talking about who getting this razor. Alex, a new razor. Fun story there. Fun story there. She knows exactly what she's about to say. Fun story there. You have a one point, what? One, four million subscribers. You're about to say this to people. Fun story there. Okay, let's hear the fun story. Um, for his beard. Okay. I asked my kids to keep their razors in their room. We actually used to have to lock them all up as part of a foster care contract for one of our previous kids that doesn't live with us anymore. She's saying that, so she talked about Deshaun first, and she went, now she's talking about we had to lock up our razors, because we all knew that what was going on in the house, because that was kid, was because that, because N was reaching out for support, like she was crying out for help on her own social media platform, and unfortunately, we all saw it, because Alicia has made her famous, okay, we all saw that that's what she was doing, right, and that, and she's like, I don't have to do that anymore. Once she left, we like stopped locking her trimmers up. You son of a bitch. Jordan got two Alex's in the middle of the night. So she's talking about razors, right? So what she did, here's, here's the setup for you guys. This is why, this is how pointed and how disgusting she really is. She did this all on purpose. She went and picked out the cheapest dang hair trimmer. It's not a razor, by the way. It's not, that's not a razor. She went, so she mentioned Deshaun. She goes and picks out the cheapest hair trimmer she can find in the bottom of that thing. No kid's going to use that. And she never buys cheap stuff like that. She buys the good stuff. Okay, so she goes to buy the cheapest one so that she could mention that the one kid who's left that, that had trouble with razors, we don't have to lock him up anymore. And then she did the merp face. 
Watch it again when she says this. I ask my kids to keep their razors in their room. We actually used to have to lock them all up. How many kids have razors, by the way? Maybe three should have them. Maybe. As part of a foster care contract for one of her previous kiddos that doesn't live with us anymore. Kiddos. Once she left, we like stopped locking her trimmers up. Watch. That right there. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's taking hits at N. And she didn't even have to say the word she. She just could have said once they left. We had to, we didn't, she's doing this completely on purpose. She is still super angry that the end did not want to live with them anymore. That the gifts, well, well, you get everything you wanted. No, Alicia, she, ex you know what? The thing that she's so mad about is not that end left, is that she was exposed for the type of mother. When end finally whistleblows on this, guys, it is going to be the end of Doherty Dozen. And to her credit, she hasn't because she's probably likely trying to get over the trauma of living there. But to her credit, she's staying silent. She's going, and you know what? I hope, I know I say this from a guy who exposes them every day, but I hope she can get away from them and forget them for the rest of her life, that she doesn't whistleblow, that she doesn't do any of those things, because I want her to just forget this and move on with her life. And I think a lot of us can agree with that, right? But if she does one day decide that she wants to do this, she is more than justified, okay? You need to, you need to see the other thing too. Someone had sent me this picture. It's a still that someone had texted to me about, I guess this was posted in Reddit. Um... You look at behind her. She's got this Doherty Dozen picture. And it's got everybody's name on it. Okay? And that hasn't been there. We would have seen that for, for a long time. Something's happening where for the last couple of videos, she's doing these digs at N. For some reason, I have no idea why. Something is going on because that hasn't been there. And look at this. Tyson, if you can zoom in right here. So it has all the names of the kids. And then clumsily, disgustingly, just rubs it out with... A, a different color orange and this and that. It just makes it look like terror. It honestly looks like it was done with malice. It looks like it was done with hatred to erase her name out of there. She's not in our family anymore. Even though in, even though in past videos, she said, if you are part of our family, you're always part of our family, blah, blah. She's always talked about how she's a saint and God has told her to bring these kids in until the kid doesn't want to be there anymore. And then she hates you. She did this on purpose. She did the thing at the shopping mall on purpose with this Merp face. She does this on purpose because it's all she has because she's not allowed to be speaking about it. And I think borderline, if she's if she signs some kind of agreement where she's not allowed to be talking about this stuff, she shouldn't be doing it here either. Even though she's not mentioning the name and maybe legally she can get around it for doing that. That's the most one of the most one of the most disgusting things Alicia has ever done. And she has done many, many disgusting things. OK, but this is getting a little bit crazy. She's doing this while she's shopping for her family to feed them. Needless to say, how do you think that this makes D feel, right? This is, in my opinion, is all taking place as parental alienation. Okay, this child is being alienated from his sister, probably being talked badly about when the cameras aren't on. This type of thing, you think he walks in there and sees her name rubbed out or taken off the wall with the Scrabble pieces? Or talks about razors or her saying things because you know she's screaming in the background. He has to live in this place where there's disparaging his blood sister. Okay? I don't blame Dee at all for staying there. I don't at all. But there is, in my opinion, there is alienation likely happening here. Because they they have taken, like, an, and it's so evident in all the videos. $25,000 birthday. The Uggs when no one else get Uggs. The presents, the Christmas, everything this kid gets. Everything. The attention, the one-on-one -on -one personal attention they get from Josh and Alicia because of his athleticism or whatever it is, is so evident. We can all see it. Even her fans are seeing it. Okay? It's so evident to me. That is the alienation that is taking place. They want him to hate her. And I hope that doesn't take place. I really do. I really do. Because these kids are going to grow up someday and they're going to resent you. And you deserve to be resented. You are doing something disgusting, Alicia. Stop it. Fine. You want to go grocery shopping? You want to feed your kids sugar and all that? Whatever. Stop doing this. You asshole. I can't believe she did that. Which leads us into her shopping probably the day of James's 17th birthday. And obviously we're going to go through it because it's uh, apparently I have not watched this. But what I've heard is that it is absolutely just sad. Because... As you all know, James is the one that likely struggles the most since N has left the home. Um, he is obviously not the favorite. 
He is easily one of the most likable, though, and one of the most helpful, and the Dodds love him, and he takes care of everything, and he's just a good kid. We can all see through it. He's just a good kid. And honestly, I know you should never have favorites. You shouldn't, especially kids, but I'm not saying D shouldn't be a favorite, but Jay should be a favorite. That's what I'm saying. He's a really, really good kid, and she treats him like a second-class citizen in this house. Okay, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens as James becomes an adult. So, again, all these kids are growing up in this world, and when they wake up to when they wake up to the realization of how wrong what she does is, it's going to hurt her. It is going to destroy her channel. It's going to do everything. She's, she, I hope she's saving every penny she has because it's going to be over really soon. So, let's cover this. Hi, everyone. Hey. It's Alicia with the Dockerty Dozen, and this is James's 17th birthday vlog. James is one of our 11 kids. He is second in line chronologically. He is the third to join our family. He joined us when he was six years old from the foster care system, um, and we adopted him when he was six. And yeah, today is his yeah, da, da. birthday. Yesterday was his birthday party. And I need you to know this. When she went into this video, being all happy-go-lucky, knowing that she was going to put that picture of the kids in the heart around with the, the thing erased really, really aggressively. This was the point of the video. Like, why would you put that in this video? It's his birthday video. What? Why would you use this? Like, you could use any other videos to do that, but she chose James's birthday video to do it. That's not a mistake either. I will show that later on in this video. However, I want to disclaim, before I forget, we were at Lasertron, laser tag, arcade, lots of bright lights, flashing lights. I'll try to edit out. I'll try to edit it down as much as possible so that um, I don't accidentally induce a migraine or anything on anyone. Well, that ship has sailed long ago. Induce a migraine. Everybody gets a migraine. I don't get headaches and I get a headache watching you. Um, and yeah, today we just got to finish up his shopping. I got his two main presents on Amazon, which were AR glasses. He had seen those the last time we were flying. The person in front of us had them and we, we were like watching him play his video games on his glasses. Cool. Another video game thing. That's perfect for your kids. Just what they needed. TVs for their eyes coolest thing ever and he wanted the new amazon alexa which has like the big screen so those already came in they're at home we'll wrap those in a bit but let's just finish up some shopping and uh we're gonna start at staples he wants a gaming chair so that's our first i thought you got everybody a gaming chair already stop let's go i already drank all my coffee today you can tell you're probably sick of watching me buy gaming chairs. Since We're sick of you all together completely as a whole. Not just with buying gaming chairs. All of us hate you. Bought the twins two for their birthday in October and Deshaun one for his birthday in October. I'm actually gonna get the same one that the twins have. Deshaun's was the bigger version, but we like the twins one better. So you're gonna get your 17 son, who is your biggest child, just a big boy, the smaller chair. Makes sense. Cool. It like it moves better. I don't know. There's, it's just smoother. I'll show you. Yeah, I'm sure you will. I'm trying to think. There's something else we need here. Nope. I have tape. Okay. Right? You don't even know. It's like, I'll show you. You don't even know what you got him. Hold on. Okay, yeah. I just checked. That's the one we got, Deshaun. And we don't like it as much as this one. Um, the cheaper one. Nice. Clearly not that one with the broken box. So. We already have a red one. We don't have that white. Who cares about what we have? What does James want? Who cares about we as a whole? And why do you care if it's the same color? All of your kids just wear the same color clothes and you buy them anyway. You buy them all the same dang thing. What does it matter this time? Man, you're such an idiot. I kinda like that. All right, we're gonna get that, but those two are gonna be up. Look like your face. This box. Bang. Looks good. Let's get that one. Water. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
most of them. Good. Good. Right. Uh, gaming. I bought him this game organizer. And they still do burnable CDs. That's that's my era. You know what? I'm older than that. Let's be real. I was putting scotch tape over the end of tapes, like old tapes we didn't want to use anymore, so you could re-record off the radio. That's how old I am. I'm that old. Um, Amazon, but I'm not thrilled with the quality of it. Um, I was just debating if I should send it back and get a different one. No one cares what you think. I don't see any here. I'll check out. I'm going to drag off. I got the protection plan on it too. Uh, I don't know. Stink with it. Three years for 20 bucks. They repair it and. No. Water. They replace it and give you your money back. What? Crazy. Uh, if it, like, anywhere tear, break, anything. Yeah, I don't think we're into her. On a chair? That's so stupid. Hope you smash your thumb. Taylor Spit! I'm feeling that snarky. I just am angry at the beginning of this video. Like I'm angry at what she is doing and that she's just doing it on purpose. I'm just, I can't believe an adult like this who takes kids in out of the goodness of her heart can be so vitriolic towards somebody who just didn't want to be there anymore because you couldn't give her what she needed. I cannot believe that this, this type of person exists. <laughs> Target without looking at the dollar spot. Okay, nothing. Taylor spit. Let's get a card. Okay, just let's go. Let's go. Didn't she just get him one for Christmas? A hundred dollars? Didn't they get him like a hundred and fifty dollars or something like that? Why she keep getting Jeez. them those? What are they spending hundreds of dollars on the Apple Store on? Like. They all have video game systems. James has a video game laptop and a video gaming tower. He plays a home video. Like, is he playing also video games on his phone? Like, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars of apps? What are you doing? Money and gift cards. And they're happy. No, they're not. They don't even know. Those gift cards have never, ever been spent. They're just sitting around in a drawer somewhere or been thrown in the garbage by accident. They don't even get spent. paper. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Cut this crap, man! Just cut it! This is an hour and 15 minutes. You don't have to put this in there. Get out of the TV section. Get out of there. I. <laughs> this should be demonetized. Stuff like this should be demonetized. Who's actually watching her walk around? There's like six games left. This is our Xbox kid, but he already has everything. Because <laughs> I don't parent him. He's got to play video games. Didn't she say early too on her channel, like her kids have like limited screen time. I was like, for kids who have limited screen time, they have an awful lot of games that they're playing for limited screen time. Or buys it for himself. Or gets it from Nana and Papa because he always goes and does work for them and then Nana, like, buys him whatever he Why don't you just give him what he's owed, these kids, what they're owed? He wants. He 
you can find a good book. He loves books. Gosh. You gonna find him a good book at Target? He loves history. I, I can't, guys. I can't do it. I can't. We're almost out of puppy food. They happen to carry it here at Target. I had no idea. This is so weird, the place that she makes cuts to do. But she'll walk around Target not binding for 10 minutes, all of a sudden make a cut. We have puppy food, blah, 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 and then she makes a cut. Six me tra tra tractor supply. Okay, slight detour from birthday shopping. No. Okay, I'm just coming across the parking lot to the mall. East view. Got some fun things in here, some gamer stuff, gamer merch. But my kids have limited screen time. Their whole identity is gaming though. Let's look around. This. Maybe too maybe-ish. Get him this, huh. this piece of crap. Oh my gosh, let's go. I can't. Okay, all set there. I'm gonna go to the sock store and look for some fun socks. They have dog socks there. James. They hang dogs. Here. Loves dogs. It's, it's so funny that James loves dogs, but who did you get a dog for? Let's rack our brains here. Try to look back in a little history of Dee Dee. Who did you buy a dog for? Mm, let me think for a second. If you know, you know, right? Such a loser. She knows that James is the absolute best with the dogs. He loves dogs, but buys a puppy. For the favorite. Buys the favorite, the Uggs. Buys the favorite, gives a $25,000 birthday. This kid's getting a few things for a birthday, sure, let's be real. But nothing comes close. Nothing. Hey, we're going to get D a 25, you know, $18,000 Buffalo Bills NFL game day. Woo! And here's some socks for James. Nope. Also, get socks from here, guys. These socks are actually terrible. They have terrible retention in the ankles. They're just bad socks. Don't get these ones. My wife bought me Calvin Klein socks. I think she got them from Costco or something. <laughs> there. They fit nice. I have these ones from Costco also that are... What's that one called? I forget the name of it. But they're like a little red dot and like a square. I don't know what it is. They're the best, most comfortable socks ever, too. Costco just has good socks. Good socks. Okay, let's go. I can't do this. Let's freaking roll on. Okay. It was $32, which really isn't bad. I feel like it's not bad. Most of the price for a fancy socks. You're a fancy sock. Okay, we're coming in here. It's at Snack Factory. Snack Factory! Let's see. She's in here like every other day for birthdays. What? She was just here. What would James like here? <sighs> I know. I was just here for Dash's birthday. But who doesn't love fun snacks? Twix cookies. That looks good. Buy something! Some Pringles. They're Next, I can't. Come on. Steak ones were ribeye flavor, and then I mentioned I was buying it for my son for his birthday, and he gave me 
these for a birthday present for James. So thank you. He said they just came in from Thailand. Okay, let's go home and wrap presents. Oh, here we go. There. See, when's the last time? Yes, has that been there the whole time? I don't think so. There it is. This is the Alexa he wanted. Why? I did order the correct air up water bottle. I can't believe I still can't find the little dash. And then these are the AR glasses. He's gonna be excited for these. He's been he's been talking about AR those glasses. since we saw them on the airplane. And when was that? Like a year ago. And you didn't get them for his for Christmas? Last all together on an airplane. Gosh, it's been that long. We need to go somewhere. I gotta get somewhere warm. Hey, money, money. With sunshine. Okay. So now all of my kids want one of these. It's this water bottle that you put a scent disc on. Advertising at its best. Social media advertising at its best, right? I am not sponsoring this. I'm just sure. saying we see it all over social media. And the water supposedly tastes like supposedly. the flavor that you're smelling. All right, so James got in one. Two. Dash got one. Here, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Spins out. Stay. Okay. You know what would be even better for these types of gifts is like pre-set them up. Have Josh do a little work. Set the chair up so he doesn't have to. He just comes down and it's like amongst his gifts. And be like, oh, that's cool. That's nice. Something you could do nice. Oh. Okay, I could wrap out of that. Maybe not actually. Those are green and red, so I'm gonna add them to the. Alicia's a butthole. You heard it here. This is gonna be like the easiest. What happened to your hair? Snack ever. I just got a bunch of different. Hey, it's James's birthday, so the snack's gonna be something I'm not gonna put any work into. It's just James's birthday, so f that. For Deshaun's birthday, and I got Happy Meals, I got McDonald's all day. But here, let's just put some goldfish on a plate. Yeah. Flavors of goldfish. They're his favorite. Um. Yeah. I don't know. This is it. This is snack today. We know you're not gonna put any effort into it. Neck wrinkles, we know. I hope I'm back. Right, I know you have 11 kids. You think 11 kids are gonna eat this many goldfish? Back to get his, like, expression when he sees it, because... I'm um, sure he'll well, and he'll be like, oh, okay, thanks. I think he'll be excited. He won't be. Because you're not, even, you're not even gonna take it out of the thing, and you're just gonna, here, I just bought some goldfish, and here's the snack. You don't think that these kids notice that their mom puts a lot of work into certain things like just a regular old snackerty board and then when it's his birthday, she's like, I just threw some stuff on the counter. You don't think they're gonna notice that stuff? I, I pick up the girl, I get the girls, the middle schoolers, and Josh gets the high schoolers. Um, so, that's what I mean, I hope I'm back. Like, I hope I'm back from picking up the girls before James gets Can they not take a school bus? Usually I am, but it's always around the same time. How many goldfish are these kids gonna eat? Oh my gosh, what a dish. Okay, we are at to catch Lisa's birthday party! Laser drop! That's pretty cool. Notice how no one's coming to his birthday party? That's so sad. <sighs> I feel so bad for this kid. I just, I really do. 
It would be way much more louder. What? You're right. So everyone Notice who's not here again? Josh, not here for his son's birthday. Such a good dad. Is yet another track meet till midnight? Is playing? Is mm -hmm. She doesn't say anything here in this video. She doesn't have to justify it. She's just like, oh yeah, of course Josh isn't here for James' birthday. You guys should just know this. Like, unbelievable the amount of birthdays this guy misses. If you didn't want to be a dad to this many kids, maybe you shouldn't have done it. Come on up and grab a card. Okay. Um, Take your card and swipe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Of course, of course. That's probably hundreds of dollars. Kids casinos, man. I know they're fun for kids. But damn, I hate the fact that my kid goes in there and gets ripped off. I hate kids casinos for the fact that they rip people off. I say this. If you like buy $60 or $70 or whatever you put in the card, whatever you spent... Like, program it so that the thing that the kids can get is something nice for $60. Not an eraser. Or, like, a bracelet or something. Like, if you want to get one of the big teddy bears in the wall with these places, you have to, like, literally spend, like, $5,000. It's absolutely ridiculous. I hate when people rip off children. I hate it. But my kids love it. And they're having fun. It's not about the prize for them. It's just about playing, and I get that. But I hate when they get ripped off. Card, honey. Get your arcade card. Yeah, just like make up a code name. Okay, awesome. Sperm balloons. It's his birthday cake. Got it from Wegmans. Of course you did. I remember the candles. We're going to take them right to the box. And we're waiting to do laser tag, and then we're going to... There's nobody even there for his birthday. friends. Nothing. It's just like, let's bring a few of the kids. Half the kids aren't even there. To just come out to like, it's just another outing for them. It's nothing like uh, this poor, this guy's 17 has a big birthday for a teenager almost becoming a man. And he's got to hang out with, like, I'm not saying don't hang out with your little brothers and sisters and stuff like that. That's fine. But like, let him go do a birthday. I, oh my gosh. It's so sad. I see myself in James. I don't know what it is. Like the way I grew up and stuff, I guess I see it. And that's what makes me so sad. Pizza and cake. And then we're doing the arcade. So we yeah. have... See, Nana and Papa make it out. As much as I make fun of Nana and Papa, that son of a bitch, they're there. They go to their kid, their grandkids' birthdays, even though they don't want to be. You can tell they're like, get lost. But they're there supporting. Their own damn son can't even come to his kids' birthday parties, but Nana and Papa can make it every time. Yeah, they're meeting So both ones at the same time and hold them down right fire. If you pull through without anything else, it will do enough. It was team balancing. That means at the end of each round, I can't believe she can carry that. It's so Why are those kids wearing shorts in the winter too? Like, I know teenagers are dumb, but just don't be dumb. Yeah, are we you are ready. Well, you can stop playing at any time. You can give it a try. Okay. Die. Deactivate it. Come back. Laser tag is fun though. Sounds like a kid coughing. Ka -ka -ka! Keep going. It's a poor city. Here, I want to see him. It's no thoughts in these birthdays either. Wegman sperm cake and pizza for everybody! Alright, they're finished now. Please return and we're gonna have the pizza and we It's really good. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's right. Saddest 
thing I've ever seen. Like, like, like nobody's happy. It's there's no music. It's like, blah, blah, like there's light candles. This is so sad. Okay. They don't even know how old their brother is. They'll start singing. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I don't know what it is, my god, I just feel like this kid is really, really, really sad. And it breaks my heart. Wait, oh, is this praise for drowning or? Oh, I see, drowning, rescue fight for 1421. Oh, I think I've heard this before. See, so he's like the most, I, 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 I pause on him to open presents a little bit because he's the most appreciative one too. And it's so crazy because most of the other kids don't appreciate anything and they are all favored over this guy for some reason. He's the sweetest guy. The dogs love him the most. He takes care of the dogs probably more than anybody else. He's always super helpful. He's awesome. He's amazing. And like gets treated the worst in this family. It's crazy. Uh, okay. Again, silently open up his gifts in the kitchen where all the other kids are just gone. They went out for his birthday. Thanks. Peace out. Then they all went to the rooms to play video games and just let this guy do them by himself. Uh. <laughs> I don't think I've... It says it on the side. Judging by uh, the picture of this guy with sunglasses, I think I <laughs> I know what it is now. How'd you find this this quick? What is that? Amazon. It's the only place I could find it. It's, um... Remember that guy? Was he there for that? Yeah. Remember that guy at the airport? He had the sunglasses and the PlayStation. His PlayStation was plugged in. And he was playing this PlayStation through sunglasses. Actually? Yeah. yeah. They have like a technology now where you can actually use the thing. these things. Wait, it's are you supposed thing. to like, do you have like a controller? A controller you can use, yeah. You can like hook up to yeah. survive. Oh, I Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, James. Thank you. You got a game, Yeah. I think I hear Josh came home finally. He's like, happy birthday. You didn't do anything, buddy. You didn't buy any of these kids. You don't even know what he got. You have no idea because Alicia does it all. Because Alicia wants to do it all, but she films everything. What a douche. He ended up grub hubbing dinner. Of course she did. I didn't feel like going out in the cold. $425 for... For dinner! So, James wanted cheeseburgers from Five Guys. We got that with fries, and I cannot resist their milk. And it's called. Shakes. Vanilla with Oreo. And the milkshakes are melted. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, we forgot to end yesterday's vlog, but our night surprise, end surprise. ended with James jamming out to his Bluetooth, new Bluetooth speaker, and the- You're a douche, I hate you. There you go, everybody. Covering it, making sure we cover it all. Alicia, what is, how does it, is this like big stain on my shirt? <gasps> Ew, sorry guys. So how does that make you feel, everybody, about all that? Where she is- purposely saying things about N. Do you think there's parental alienation going on? What do you feel about how she treats Jay and why is Josh never there? It's just never, ever, ever, ever gets better. It's always gets worse with these people. It's never, there's no redeeming qualities ever. I've not seen one redeeming quality yet. So it may break your heart because that's the saddest birthday vlog I've ever seen considering what she has done for other children, especially the favorite. Crazy. Anyway, everybody, please take a deep breath with me.
I hope you guys treat your kids better. I hope that even like watching these things reminds you that your kids need love, they need support, they need you to be there, they need hugs, they need kisses, they need affirmations. Just this, just this today, I was walking upstairs and Wesley was playing with his little magnet tiles, and I just I kind of thought, and like he's in his own little mind and he's just making up these crazy worlds and adventures in his brain. I just looked at him and like my heart swelled and I was like, Wesley, come here for a second. He came over. He's like, yes. He looks at me. It's like, you are amazing. And then he just gave me a big old hug. And it's like, you guys. Maybe sometimes we need to be reminded as parents that we just have to take the time and sometimes we don't, okay? To really, really, really focus in on and look at our kids in the eyes and tell them how much they are loved. And I know that's not going on in the doctor's business. It's really, really sad. But do that for your kids. Maybe this is your reminder to go hug your kids, okay? Spend some quality time with them one-on-one. -on -one. Look them in the eyes. Love them, okay? Protect them. Do everything you can to protect your kids, okay? And I will see you when I see you.